What is going on guys, it's your boy Team the Stars, here with another video, and today we will be talking about Chris Paul. Chris Paul, man, Chris Paul's legacy is on the line as we speak. Chris Paul right now is a part of the LA Clippers, and he has just verbally said that he will be re-signing with the Clippers, which I really don't believe. Ever since he entered the Clippers, he has never made it past the second round, and I don't see them going past it at all. So really, I think the only option he has is to move during the summer. With that being said, let's go on with the video. Three teams that Chris Paul should move during the offseason to save his legacy. The Utah Jazz might be one of the many teams you might say, why would Chris Paul go there? Sir, sure, they don't have the bright lights as Los Angeles, but here's a couple reasons why. The Utah Jazz might be one of the most promising teams in the league. While last year they didn't even make the playoffs, they managed to come back in the next year, jumping from the 9th seed in 2016 to the 4th seed in 2017. Meanwhile, they did all this without a great point guard. Almost every contending team has a great point guard in order to look to the NBA Finals. Sure, they have George Hill, an at-best average point guard, but with Chris Paul in the lineup, Hill can come off the bench and become a key piece to an already good Utah bench. With Dante Exum being injured almost every season, we can't really rely on him considering the fact that Chris Paul and the Jazz want to win now. CP3 can run pick and rolls with Rudy Gobert and doesn't need the ball all the time when you have an all-star in Gordon Hayward. And while the Jazz has one of the best defensive teams in the league, I think Chris Paul, who is already an elite defender at the point guard position, could make them even a team that could be unstoppable. The Pelicans might be one of the worst teams in the Western Conference, but I still think the team has potential. When DeMarcus Cousins was traded to the Pelicans, they were expected to at least come close to the playoffs, but unfortunately, they didn't really come close. You might ask why because there was only three people who were actually trying to compete every single game, Boogie, the Brown, and Holiday. Without those three guys, they might be one of the worst teams in the league in general. But if they add Chris Paul, they could flip the switch and become great if they get promising draft picks at a small four spot, and they can actually go far somewhere in the season. They can move Drew Holiday to the shooting guard spot and a great backup for the Pelicans and Prim Frazier. If they get good role players off the bench, we can see the Pelican be something with Chris Paul on the team. The San Antonio Spurs might be one of the teams that Chris Paul should go to if he wants to win a championship. I am sad to say this, but Tony Parker is way too old to be a starting point guard. His time has come and now he needs to become a backup and let Chris Paul take over. It's basically a win-win situation. With the Spurs getting a good point guard and Chris Paul having an opportunity to make it to the, at least the Western Conference Finals. If CB3 goes to the Spurs, they can finally compete against the Golden State Warriors and can even beat them. And with the Spurs having young talent like Murray and Simmons, we can finally see Chris Paul win for once and be officially named one of the best point guards in league history. Thank you guys for watching this video. And if you did enjoy, why don't you leave a thumbs up and all these teams can actually save Chris Paul's legacy as the greatest point guard of all time. Like if you've enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. See ya. She's a